With the IPy app, QPython now supports converting natural language into code. So, how do you enable the IPy app on QPython? Let's learn how to do it right now. Long press the start button to enter the IPy app. Enter the instruction. Create a QPyGee version of a translation app that can translate English to Chinese. QPython begins to run and outputs the code. Long press the screen to paste the key for the translation app created on PGT. After entering the key, QPython continues to run. The translation app has been launched. Enter hello and click translate. The translation is successful and the result is displayed below the button. Interrupt the operation control plus C. Ready to enter a new instruction to improve the program. Enter the instruction, place the translate button to the bottom and make the translation result more larger. Python continues to work. After completion, you can see that the instruction has been executed. Enter the test content. The function is working properly. Further modifications are needed. Press Ctrl plus C to interrupt. Enter the instruction. Put the input to the bottom and add a speak button to read the translated content. Continue working. After the program runs, check the output. Interrupt again to modify the instructions. Enter the instruction. Place the speak button to the bottom. Operating normally. Adjustments completed. Proceed with comprehensive testing. Interrupt the current operation to save. Enter the instruction. Save the program as a Kpi project. Python is starting to save. Saved successfully. Waiting for the next instruction. Switch to the Python control panel. Click the start button. Locate the project that was just saved. Click to start. The effect is consistent with what it was before.